This morning, growing outrage after Tennessee's Republican-controlled House voted to expel two Democrats. State representatives Justin Jones and Justin Pearson were expelled on a party line vote after they led a gun reform protest in the House chamber last week in response to the school shooting in Nashville that left six people, including three children, dead. Just because you don't get your way, you can't come to the well, bring your friends and throw a temper tantrum with an adolescent bullhorn. There's something in the decorum of this body that says it's okay to call that a temper tantrum, to call people we disagree with on the issues, to say that all they want is attention. But I'll tell you what, I don't personally want attention. What I want is attention on the issue of gun violence. But instead, we're here with the resolution you put up talking about expelling me for advocating for ending gun violence in the state of Tennessee. Overnight, President Biden calling the ousting shocking and undemocratic. Republicans had accused Jones and Pearson of disorderly behavior after leading protesters onto the House floor, bringing proceedings to a halt with both men using a bullhorn. Some Republicans compared the moment to January 6th. What they did today was equivalent, at least equivalent, maybe worse, depending on how you look at it, of doing an insurrection in the Capitol. Jones and Pearson argued they were exercising their First Amendment right after Republicans refused to discuss gun reform in the wake of the Covenant school shooting. How can you bring dishonor to an already dishonorable house? I'd much rather be talking with you about legislation to protect Shelby County and to protect our communities than talking about why we don't deserve to have our representation lost. A vote to expel a third Democrat representative, Gloria Johnson, failed by one vote. Johnson had stood by Jones and Pearson and chanted with the protesters. A reporter asked Johnson why she thought Republicans did not expel her. It might have to do with the color of our skin. You cannot ignore the racial dynamic of what happened today. Two young black lawmakers get expelled and the one white woman does not. That's a statement in and of itself. Republican leaders denied race played a factor in the decision and noted that the overwhelming majority of their party was still in favor of expelling Johnson. Special elections will fill the two vacant seats. Jones and Pearson are free to run again for those offices. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.